Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of S Rank Usume. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It'd be like that sometimes. I oh, like this is a scam. See? Scamming. Of course. All right, kid. Excuse me. Same respect, or just you know, festival type. <clears throat> festival. Mm-mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then they get to spend more time together. <laughs> Right. We go from celebrating to preparing. <laughs> He's so sweet. I can't. Oh my god. The typical <laughs> request. I don't blame them. I would do the same thing too. I, I'm, I see. Okay, I, I did this in high school with one of my high school friends, um, because he was hella attractive. Yeah, we all poked at him and everything. He was like, oh my god, yes. He was like you got really nice arms. When you find a guy that is hella attractive, psh, yes. But we did ask consent though. That's the big thing. It would. So maybe we just need to stay somewhere for the night. Anchovies? <laughs> Ew. I just would have took the bread. <laughs> yeah, like how, you know, somewhat older people like black licorice, and I don't know how people can like black licorice. You have to have like a really good palate and taste because I think it's so disgusting. Well, damn. You okay? <laughs> I mean, he was just helping you, rude. <laughs> ah. Right, you should be speaking.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I automatically thought you were going to go with him. <laughs> you sure about that? Look at her face. Oh my god. <laughs> if I didn't know we're like Princess Peach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Apologize. Well, you know, she lied. But why though? And see the question, does it have to deal with that other girl that we saw at the beginning of this episode?
Is that really what you want to talk about, honey? Right. Ones who are independent. Smart. Th that too, kind. You are right about that. <laughs> because, <laughs> well. <laughs> Okay. Well, do you want to go against him and get your ass beat? He seems very arrogant. This might be a good fight. Who knows?
see either. I feel like what they're going to try to do is either one of two things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Either to take the kingdom down and the nobles who all, so Sasha and the rest of her sisters, or kidnap one of them at least. But then also maybe taking Andre or her dad or somebody. Because, I mean, Andre is OP. So, I mean, he had to take the most OP person and then, you know, plummeted. You, you really can't do anything after that. But then, yeah, they would still have Belle. But, I mean, okay, this was sweet. Very enjoyable. I love the fact that we started out with a girl who, you know, a cutesy wootsy baby. And I'm very skeptical of her. Even though right now we she was the last thing thing that we saw, but she seems like the type of character. Oh, uh, she's only working with them due to that they have something on her, like blackmail. They're holding something on her. Like she doesn't seem like a bad guy or a bad girl. It's just because usually when someone is holding them hostage or against them against their will and something like that there is something there but she's only acting the quote-unquote of being deliciously evil and maybe you know because we've seen her true side she a scammer and you know she's shy especially when it came to Belle but mm, once again looks can be deceiving you never really know in this type of series like one minute you can be a friend next minute, complete fucking enemy. You never truly know in the world of anime. So, you know, sometimes at the end of the day, you just have to trust yourself. But the fact that we also got to see a little bit more moments between Ange and her dad, like, it's really sweet. Because the fact is, I was expecting episode five, like, a couple more moments with them together. And then the three of them going back home and immediately getting back to work, just like me tomorrow. Um... But no, I like the fact that we had a job that he, you know, was able to come with him. Technically, them protecting him. But it's still sweet. Because at the same time, like, even if he, if they can't protect him, he can protect himself. He can still do things. Even though he's not as OP as fuck as his daughter is, he still is capable of holding his own. Now, the arrogant asshole who was watching over um, one of the girls, I do want to see that fight. I, I just, like, his, okay. I'll tell you this because <laughs> I, I love comparing it to this moment in SAO. You remember the one episode where um, <laughs> Asuna was trying to run away from her quote unquote bodyguard and literally he challenged Kirito to a duel and like Kirito ended up kicking his ass? <laughs> it, like, it can be feels towards that. Like It's like when you talk shit, you get hit. And that is him talking shit about Belle. And I'm like, dude, you're, you're talking all this. You think that, you know, she didn't lose to him. That's you talking shit. And then, you know, it's like, okay, why don't you go ahead and go against him? Let me see how you do. And then watch, you're going to fall flat on your ass. Flat on your ass. And then who are you going to have to blame? No one but yourself. I'm just saying. Hello? That's the smart thing to do. You're going to fall flat on your ass and it's going to be fucking hilarious to watch. But who really knows what the heck is going to happen next week? But yeah. So, of course, something bad is going to happen. Having to deal with that group. Um, but could be anything. Hell, someone could die next week. I hate the fact that I just said that, too. Because I don't want anybody dying in this show. They're all too adorable and I love them so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 5 of S-Rank Usume. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.